Hey guys, it's Boki here from JG's Fabric Shop and Home of Juki Junkies, and I am with the Memory Craft 500E from Janome. This is an embroidery only machine, and I wanted to cover some of the basics with you guys, um, since the basics are always super important to make sure that we get good um, stitch outs in our embroidery. So we're gonna go over how to thread the machine properly and how to do our bobbin. So here I have some Glide 40 weight thread. Um, this is a 40 weight thread, so it is a little bit thicker than traditional 50 weight. Um, it's a polyester thread and we carry the entire Glide collection on jukijunkies.com. So there's over 250 colors to choose from. This is perfect for embroidery, great for top stitching, um, great for free motion quilting, just an all purpose virtually lend free thread. Um, so definitely check that out. I'm gonna put that in the link. Up here we have the five thread um, holder. This is an optional accessory for this machine. It also comes in a two thread option, but five is the most fan favorite because obviously in most designs we're using more than five, th four, five different colors. So I'm gonna show you guys how you would thread this machine without the thread stand since it's not something that comes with the machine um, and just traditionally how you get it. So when you're going to thread it, you wanna make sure that the thread's coming from underneath. We're just gonna slide it over here in this spool pin. And then we're gonna take a spool cap that is most similar to the size of the spool. So as long as it's not larger, it can be smaller. Um, but if it's too big, it'll get wrapped around. So we're just gonna pull our thread and then we're gonna start threading it traditionally. So everything that else applies is going to be the same if you're doing it here but i'm going to show you how to thread the machine without using this we're, we're going to use the thread stand back here so step number one is taking your spool of thread and you're going to bring it from the back to the front this little gadget right here you do get with the thread stand so it's just going to snap into place like that. That kind of acts as though the spool is right here. So that this is another good option to get this five thread stand holder. It's like a tongue twister. If you wanna use bigger spools as well, that's definitely super cost effective. So this is gonna be the same. Let's pretend that the spool is here. You're just gonna go directly into this little metal arm right here. We're gonna take our thread from back to front. Oop, I almost caught myself. Before we start doing that, let's make sure that we lock our machine. So we're gonna give her a nice little lock. We're gonna use that every time we put the bobbin in and every time we thread the machine to make sure that everything is safe and locked. So holding my thread nice and tight like I'm flossing my teeth, bringing it to back to front, it's gonna snap in. With my left hand, I'm gonna take the thread and wrap it around and underneath this little metal arm just like so, all right? There is a little cheat here for you guys to refer to if you forget, but it's really important that you do wrap it around. So let me just do it one more time, click in, wrap around and under the arm, okay? This right here is your first tension unit, so you wanna make sure you click into there, just like so. We're gonna go down for two, back up for three. And here, there is a little hook that you see here. You're gonna go from the right to the left. You're gonna hear it click right in, just like so. We're gonna get kind of eye level with the machine and we're going to put the thread into this first thread guide right here, the large one. And then six is going to be this little thread guide that's closest to the needle. So I guide it with my thumb, pull it all the way to the left so it falls in this little square cubby right here. And I don't have a needle threader because I'm waiting on a replacement one. So I'll cover that in another video. But for the sake of threading it, I'm just gonna do it with my eyeballs. We're gonna go front to back, the eye of the needle. All right, just like that. Make sure it doesn't wrap around. And then I'm just gonna take it and go underneath like that. Right here, you have a little thread cutter. A pro tip, every time you cut with this little thread cutter, it makes it the perfect length. So you don't have to trim your threads. So now let's show, I'm gonna show you guys how to put the um, bobbin into the bobbin holder. All right, you guys. So now let's talk about how to properly insert a bobbin into your machine. So here I have a Janome Pre-On bobbin. As you can see, the tension on here is absolutely beautiful. It's nice and tight. If I give it a little smush, it doesn't move around on me. It's nice and tight. That's a good way to check to make sure you have pre-wound your bobbins correctly on the bobbin winder. If you give this a, a little pinch and it's smushing in that means you have a really smushy bobbin and that you might want to consider rewinding it because you'll get tension issues so this is a Janome pre-wound bobbin you can use the um, glide pre-wound bobbins I have a video for that for you um, on the channel as well I'll drop it in the link so you guys can refer to that it is a little bit different when you're using it in these computerized machines um, but definitely check out the video because it is a time saver when you have pre-wound bobbin so we're going to take our pre-wound bobbin and we're going to hold the thread to the left and it makes a 
a pea shape like this. So it goes like a pea. All right. You just drop it in to your bobbin case. And it, when you have it in the P shape, it just naturally falls into this first slit right here that you see the thread going in. Next, after it goes into that slit, you wanna make sure it goes underneath that metal arm. So now it's in here and it's underneath the metal arm. We're gonna go back up for one and down for two. There's a little blade in here. Tug it to the right and it just cuts the thread for you and that's it. You wanna make sure that you do it exactly like this because if you put it in in a Q shape versus a P, you will experience tension issues. And since we're in here, I do have my yellow bobbin holder case in here. You do get two with this machine. You get the red and the yellow. The yellow is really what you should be using for um, embroidery, uh, traditional embroidery, especially just because it's not like regular sewing where it's like 50, 50, um, 50 on the top, 50 on the bottom. In embroidery, it's more like 70% top thread and 30% bottom thread. So this is gonna give you the correct, beautiful tension that you need. We're just gonna slide over our cover, snap it closed, and we're ready to start our project. I hope you guys found this helpful. I'm gonna be doing some more videos on this machine. So definitely stay tuned. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, there's gonna be our contact information down below. Have a great day.